Hey everyone, Steve Kim here. So excited. Steve Kim Show episode number 96. The April stats are in and as usual, I got your numbers and your stats as they pertain to the detached and townhome markets for Toronto and certain pockets in York region. So let's get right into it. So in Toronto, back in March of 2020, that average detached property was trading just over, over $1.5 million. Fast forward into April 2020, that average detached property in Toronto is trading now just over $1.25 million. Well, in Richmond Hill, what happened? In Richmond Hill, back in March 2020, that average detached property was trading just over $1.49 million. Fast forward into April, that average detached property is now trading just over $1.47 million. Well, in Markham, what happened? That average detached property was trading in March $1.39 million. Fast forward into April 2020, that average detached property in Markham is now trading just over $1.26 million. Well, in Vaughan, what happened? Back in March 2020, that average detached property was trading just over $1.36 million. And in April 2020, that average detached property in Vaughan is trading just over $1.24 million dollars now months of inventory this is all kind of supply versus demand back in march 2020 we went to 1.6 months of inventory in toronto fast forward into april 2020 we're now 3.7 months of inventory now months of inventory is something that i've been sharing on many many steve kim shows it's really kind of checks and balances supply versus demand if we're sitting around four five six months of inventory closer to five to six months of inventory that is a balanced market anything less than that we start to get into a seller's market anything more than that we are starting to get into a buyer's market well in new york region back in march 2020 for the detached segments we went to 2.4 months of inventory fast forward into april we went to 7.8 months of inventory so still so in richmond hill for the detached segments we are definitely shifted towards a buyer's market well, in Markham, what happened? We went in March 2020 to 1.6 six months of inventory. Into April 2020, we have shifted to 5.5 months of inventory, so very much a balanced market. And in Vaughan, we went from 2.1 months of inventory in March, and we've pushed up to 7.4 months of inventory into April. So for the detached segments in Vaughan, we are we are absolutely getting into a buyer's market. Now, the townhome, seg townhome segment, what happened? Back in March 2020, in Toronto, that average townhome was trading just over $1.16 million. Fast forward into April 2020, that average townhome in Toronto is now trading just over $952,000. In Richmond Hill, we went from $924,000 for the average townhome in March 2020 to now just over $895,000 in April 2020 for a townhome in Richmond Hill. Well, in Markham, what happened? Back in March 2020, that average townhome in Markham went from just nine, just over $917,000. Fast forward into April 2020, that average townhome in in Markham for April 2020 again, sorry, was trading just over $875,000. Well, in Vaughan, what happened? In Vaughan, March 2020, that average townhome was trading just over $920,000. And in April 2020, that average townhome in Vaughan is trading now just over $887,000. Now, months of inventory in Toronto, March 2020 for townhomes, we went from 1.4 to April 2.6. In Richmond Hill, what happened? We went from 1.2 into April 2.5. In Markham, in March, we went from one month of inventory to April, we went to 2.2. And then in Vaughan, we went to sub one at 0 0.98 months of inventory. And we've shot up to 5.1 months of inventory for townhomes in Vaughan in April 2020. Now, year over year, people are always wanting to know, you know, how are prices trending year over year? So that average property, that average detached property in Toronto in April 2019 was trading just over $1.36 million. And like I just shared with you right now, that average detached property in Toronto is now trading just over $1.25. $5 million. So we've seen about an 8% decrease in price for that average detached property year over year in Toronto. Well, in York Region, what happened? In York Region, back in April 2019, that average detached property was trading just over $1.11 million. Fast forward into April 2020 in York Region, that average detached property is now trading just over $1.15 million. So we've seen it actually a price increase of about 3.6%. I hope you found these numbers and these stats useful. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give me a call, send me a text, shoot me a DM, or send me over an email. As always, be great, be kind to everyone, stay safe, and stay healthy. Take care.